But we begin with Eric Perry, who was there moments after the search began and just a couple of hours ago when his arrest was announced. Eric? Yeah, Tom, Christine, good evening to you guys. What a long day indeed. Just in the past 30 minutes, we've learned even more new information. The charges that the 24-year-old suspect will face. One count of murder and four counts of aggravated assault. Now, Atlanta police say this is really a huge example of a, uh, of a collaborative effort there. We know Cobb County Police, Fulton County Sheriff. We know the Martyr Police, Atlanta School Police, Georgia Tech, Georgia State. FBI marshal the list goes on and on all making sure to get that alleged shooting suspect into custody. We've had a successful end to a traumatic day. 1208 Wednesday afternoon. That's when the rampage begins Four women shot one woman, 38 year old CDC employee, Amy St. Pierre killed inside Northside Medical Building on West Peachtree Street in busy Midtown Atlanta. Police say the 24 year old Dion Patterson was there for an appointment. He spent about uh, maybe two minutes inside the uh, building uh, where he didn't exit it on foot. Uh, and, and what we were able to pick up on uh, the camera network system is that he went to a shell gas station uh, where he commandeered a vehicle. That car was pickup truck uh, was left uh, running. That set off a massive search effort thanks to GDOT cameras and license plate readers led that search to Cobb County. We had checked a building that we knew that he had gone into and we had cleared that building and we knew that uh, that he was not in that building. That building was unoccupied. It was being built. It was very close to uh, Truist Park and the Battery, which of course was very concerning to us. Hours later, Sky Fox 5 caught the suspect being taken into custody near an apartment complex. Uh, Sheriff Ann Hooser, I just want you to know that we are a grateful city tonight uh, for your partnership and the efforts of your uh, law enforcement agency to take this individual into custody. As I was walking in the door, I'd say maybe half a dozen, if not more, cop cars pulled up and a number of officers pulled out drawing their AR-51s. We seen one of the person that um, I guess got shot in the face when they brought her out. I just kind of thought, hmm, I could be in a shooting today. Um, and I just kind of just followed the directions of the, the officers and they kept us safe and it wasn't really an issue. So I uh, just thank God that, that, that nothing more came of it. But for those inside the building who experienced the shooting firsthand, it's a day they will never forget. Police say all five victims shot were women ranging in ages from 25 to 71 years old. Those inside say it's a family. We need to look after each other. Um, all of us were very concerned for each other's whereabouts, each other's well-being. As for the conditions of the four women that are in the hospital, they are ranging and very critical to stable. In fact, we know some of those women have to go through hours and hours long of surgery, and then they'll be taken to the intensive care unit. We're working on an updated condition when it comes to them. We also know that 24-year-old suspect, well, he was taken here after he was um, arrested for questioning. He's now been booked inside the jail. Just a really a long, exhausting day for so many, but this is the outcome that we wanted, the man behind bars. That's the latest here at Atlanta Police. I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. Yeah, a huge sigh of relief for multiple communities. Uh, thanks so much, Eric.